three fine days and a thunderstorm. That's how King George II supposedly described British summers, and actually, he wasn't far off. Yeah, we've had some legendary long sunny summers, but very often a hot spell in the UK is short-lived and ends with a bang. And behind that bang, a weather pattern you may have seen in certain spicy newspaper headlines, the Spanish plume. Here's the thing though, unlike other tabloid favourites such as walls of rain or snow bombs, the Spanish plume is an actual meteorological term. But it's not just about toasty air from Spain. It's a very specific setup in the atmosphere and one that can supercharge thunderstorms across Western Europe. Let's break it down. It starts with a blocking high over Western Europe. This keeps Atlantic rain at bay and allows temperatures to soar over the Iberian Peninsula, especially the high plateau known as the Meseta Central. This plateau heats up fast and the air above it, hot, dry, and ready to rise, forming what meteorologists call an elevated mixed layer. Within this layer, the temperature drops quickly as you go up. This is the kind of setup that loads the atmosphere with energy, just waiting to be released. Now, if a low pressure system moves in from the west, say over the Bay of Biscay, it can pull this elevated hot air northward over France and into the UK. And this is important because the hot dry air heated over the Spanish plateau doesn't drift north over the land surface, it travels high in the sky, sometimes more than 10,000 feet up, forming a lid over the cooler, more humid air below. It creates a classic loaded gun atmosphere. The land surface heats up day by day, humidity builds, but the hot and dry lid keeps it all trapped, which is why the atmosphere becomes what we call potentially unstable. Like shaking a fizzy drink, nothing happens until... Here you are. Thanks. You pop the lid open. <laughs> Brilliant. Eventually, the same Atlantic low that wafted the heat north also brings about its downfall in the form of a cold front. As cold air spills in high in the sky, it weakens the lid. Meanwhile, the air at the surface, now hot and humid, starts to rise. Everything comes together and then boom, thunderstorms. As you can see, there's a lot more to the Spanish plume than just southerly winds and humid air. It relies on a very specific recipe with several ingredients. Hot, dry air aloft, warm, humid air below, and a trigger like a cold front. And then, thunderstorms. Why are meteorologists like me so pedantic about this setup? because this very specific recipe of heat, height and humidity is rare. It happens on fewer than 5% of summer days in the UK, but when it does happen, there's a 70% chance of thunderstorms. And not just any storms. The Spanish plume is behind some of the UK's most intense thundery outbreaks, bringing lightning, flash floods, hail and even tornadoes. In fact, nearly 80% of the big organised clusters of thunderstorms the UK experiences, called mesoscale convective systems, are linked to the Spanish plume. So, next time there are three fine days of British weather during the summer, as you feel the heat and humidity rise, remember what George II said and look to the west. If there's a low brewing in the Atlantic, you may be in for a thundery breakdown because of one of the most powerful weather setups the UK can experience.